Hey friend, welcome to the Get Rooted in Health podcast. I'm Gabby Flater, a faith-led wife, mom of three, certified nutrition consultant, personal trainer, and passionate about changing lives. I know how frustrating it can be to navigate the health and wellness world. You want to be motivated to prioritize your well-being and wish you were more educated when it comes to cultivating a healthy home. Maybe you're a mom who's completely burnt out and needs a fresh perspective on life, or you're searching for a place to feel seen, heard, and encouraged in a godly manner. No matter if you're doing the dishes, getting your sweat on, or drinking reheated coffee while watching the kids play, there is always an opportunity for growth. If you are ready to finally take action about these desires and are ready to learn, grow, and transform your mind, then you are in the right place. It's time to establish deeper roots so you can enjoy a more fruitful and fulfilling harvest. Let's dig in. Hey friends, welcome back to the Get Rooted in Health podcast. My name is Gabby. Thanks so much for tuning in today. I hope that you are heading into a great week filled with lots of opportunity. I hope that you had a great weekend um, or whenever you're listening to this. I hope that it finds you well in a good space this new year. Um, and if you're not, it's okay. Um, everyone, we all go through different things at different times. So I'm um, just so glad that you're here and hope that this can be a bright spot in your week, in your life, um, in your days, um, that I can bring you uh, encouragement and knowledge and um, just vulnerability because uh, that's what we're all about here. And uh, yeah, so we are just going to kind of jump right into this week's topic keeping it short and sweet here Uh, and I'm just going to kind of call it like back to basics like just as we are here in the new year and there are just so many floods of thoughts and um, ideas and maybe a little peer pressure or um, the feeling that you should be doing something um, new year'sy resolution-ish wow that was like a huge made-up word (laughs) New Year's Eve resolution-ish. Wow, Gabby. Okay. Um, but I hope that you're picking up what I'm what I'm trying to say. And uh, I just thought that we would chat a little bit about it. And it's okay, first of all, if you aren't there yet or you don't want to or you're not into that kind of a thing. It, there's no rules. There's no like no one told anyone the beginning of the year you had to set out to achieve new things or um yeah have a resolution or whatever but if you did that's awesome too Uh, I'm all for either one because sometimes you there's different years and seasons where you're like all for it and other times when you're just not and you're just not ready for that and honestly you don't have to wait for the new year to roll around for you to pursue a new venture, a new desire. You don't have to wait for that fresh new number at the end of the date to pop up in order for you to finally go after that that thing. So I hope that you know that because if you don't or if you're just always waiting, the new year, it, it comes and fades so quickly. January comes and goes And then people start to, you know, four, six weeks into, you know, the high of the new year and and the goals and the ambition of of going after whatever it is um, starts to fade because it doesn't, it's not like new and exciting and maybe fun anymore. Um, It just kind of starts to feel like life. Um, But isn't that the goal, (laughs) right? Like getting into new habits and routines that become a lifestyle part of your life. I know like for me, I love exciting. I love new. I love fun. I love spontaneous. So sometimes I get into that um, zone of like, it it can be dangerous of like, oh, it's not fun anymore. And so I'm just going to stop or, you know, it just seems too monotonous and I need something new. Um, So we're all different people. We're all, they all, all have different personalities, but I really wanted us to focus on just in terms of our wellness and our health, really getting back to the basics if you want to work towards something this year, okay? Um, So 
in terms of like I mean the big the biggest thing I feel like for people is it's either just like their their wellness goals and then like maybe some financial goals like those are big two big giant things um and I think they should be I think that's awesome uh, maybe or maybe it's like a, a business a work thing which is money related so I guess you know it just all depends um some people have relationship goals or um yeah, maybe writing a book or whatever it might be. So first, we're just going to kind of, we'll mainly touch on more of the, you know, wellness type stuff because that's, um, you know, what this podcast is geared towards, but overall lifestyle for sure. Uh, but just knowing that people like to hop on the next trend, the diet trend type thing. So I hope by now, like you kind of, like I want to, to just open your eyes to the world of diet culture and I want you guys to just see that there's no there's no diet trend there's no supplement that can truly be long lasting like as I've sat here and thought more and more about it like sure super awesome to have shakes and pills and powders and things like super convenient when you need that extra protein like I definitely do it myself um you know, protein powders in my coffee or if I need a smoothie or I want to add some extra protein to a yogurt or pancake batter like or whatever, you know. Um, like I am all for that. But like uh, just, just the feeling that you have to find some fit in some like company's protocol. Um, I just, I just want to warn you and, and just remind you like to keep the long term in mind okay all these 30 day challenges 90 day um you know I understand if you need a jump start and you need that help to get motivated and to get the results but in the end I want you I what what I really want for people is to learn to learn what is best to fuel their body with real food from the grocery store and how to make it at home and what to look for to put on their plate, what to maybe avoid more of, which is pretty common sense. Um, and to not feel the need to have to use pricey high-end supplements because that's what those target markets are all about. They're they're all about um, catering to your uh, emotional needs, your, your desires at the moment of the new year and, and, or like, I mean, anytime, but like they really capitalize on it. And, and I'm not, I'm not trying to shame them, but, and it's a great marketing strategy. They, they do great. I mean, it's insane. The amount of money that has gone into the supplement world. It's, it's pretty bonkers. I should look up that statistic, that number. Um, but you could go do that yourself if you'd like. Um, but the goal is long-term, long-lasting. And if you're not going to adapt habits outside of using a certain systems protocol that isn't like, you know, you're just going to get worn out from that and burnt out and probably like broke, like if you can't keep up. And because it's not something you can just grow or go to the grocery store for so why force yourself to go through such strict rules, restrictions, whatever, to then only find yourself giving up on them? And then, you know, why lose the 20, 30, 50 pounds through that protocol, that strictness? And then you just gain it back or maybe some of that back. Like, like that breaks my heart and, and I don't want that for people. Because I truly know that you have it in you. If you had it in you to give it your all with said program. I used to be with a company. Um, I was, you know, I'll just be honest. I was with Isogenics for a while. Loved. I mean, it was so great. It was a stepping stone in life. I helped people. I really did. And it really opened my eyes to a whole new world. And um, then I made some changes back in 2019. Um, my eyes were opened to even more things. And I saw, wow. I got a little sucked into that realm and I see it differently now and I'm not saying a shake is is bad for you if you want that um I I just see it different it's super pricey super high end and it's not something long lasting and it and it's not 
yeah, I, I struggled with being able to help people long term with it. We'll just say that. Like I, I did. I truly did. And that was the bummer because I really wanted people to just be successful and be healthy and feel their best and all the things. But I get it. You couldn't keep up with two shakes a day and you want to chew your food and, and, and then all the products are just, you know, expensive. And um, how do you make it work? And, you know, I ended up getting burnt out myself from that, just feeling like um, I was spending so much in, in that realm. And, Honestly, I value so much of just whole food, nourishing food, and not that those companies don't, but um, not that they don't teach you some of those things. But again, their marketing strategy is to get you to buy their things. And I'm happy to buy a protein powder every now and again from somewhere when I want to add it to certain things or I want the extra collagen from a good quality one or um, you know, just the, the really good boost of protein because it's just easy sometimes as a mom, like, man, it's just, it's so helpful. But I've also seen just how good I feel still and amazing with just the way that I fuel my body and my family, the way that we do. So again, just keep it in mind. I'm not telling you to not do something, but just keep it in mind that as you're going along with this program, like, is this something that you can pursue long term? Is this something that you can invest in long term that you can continue to afford? Because if not, then you better find something that's going to serve you best, that's going to get you to your goals uh, in the way and the manner that is going to serve you for a lifetime. We're here. This is our body. This is our vessel. We live in it every day. So um, whatever program if you decide to to follow on, did you really learn the right things? Did you adopt the right mindset? Are you acquiring the right resources to serve you long term? Think about these things. Is it affordable? Is it too stressful? Is it practical for your lifestyle? Okay, so just think about these things. And and think about wouldn't wouldn't you want something that you can continue to pursue with? And I get sometimes people need like this head start and whatever. Fine, but you know, if, if you've got a plan and action after, say, a 30, 60, 90 day run with doing a certain protocol of, of a nutrition line program, whatever, I just don't want you to think that you have to have that in order to be successful with your weight loss, with your wellness goals, okay? Typically, weight loss is the biggest thing right now this, this time of the year. So, you know, kind of getting just back to the basics, it's so simple and it's just, it, it always just blows my mind. When, you know, I just, I see, you know, I follow so many different people on Instagram that just hit it on the head with just how simple it truly is. And and if you make it a priority, it's going to happen. You know, if you're going to spend 30 minutes, oh, what was it? I better find it because it was just too good. Um, I shared it on my stories and I just, I loved, I loved it so much. Um because it was truth oh yeah so okay these are things like what you prioritize will dictate what your life looks like so healthy groceries hundred dollars oh too expensive a dinner date for a hundred dollars that's reasonable a health appointment a hundred and thirty dollars that's absurd a trip to target a hundred and thirty dollars great deals 30 minutes of exercise oh man i wish i had the time 30 minutes of scrolling the gram time flies One hour of reading, that would take me an eternity. One hour of Netflix, let's watch another one. I mean, I am so guilty of like even just the reading and the Netflix one. Um, I mean, I exercise, but like, yeah, time flies when I'm scrolling Instagram. It's like, oh, shoot, I could have been really more productive with my time. Um, So just thinking about what you prioritize is going to dictate, you know, what your life's going to look like and what, where you end up. So I, I you know, just want to uh, encourage you to just stick with basics and really be honest with yourself and real, okay? So I wrote down just a quick little handful of things where it's move your body, hydrate, get sufficient sleep, get good sleep, okay? Nourish your body, Find joy, be grateful, gratitude, whatever it is. Do something that makes you happy, lights you up, you know, bring joy, laugh, like laughter is so healing. So 
making sure that's a part of your your life because stress you know that's kind of the opposite of you know stress so like how to how to excuse me manage stress find more joy and then do something a little uncomfortable getting out of your uncomfortable getting out of your comfort zone is going to be key and critical for you to take those next steps and you have to be willing to do something so it's not complicated move your body my goodness if people just walked 20 minutes a day split it up 10 minutes in the beginning 10 minutes later do it after your breakfast after your dinner I mean whatever you know lunch break whatever you need to do move your body walking is amazing it's incredible and it, you know if you don't have the desire to do much more um I I always obviously if you've listened to any podcasts I'm a huge advocate of strength training so doing body weight moves resistance bands dumbbells anything with extra added weight is going to make your body resilient it's going to strengthen those joints moms oh my gosh like seriously just know that you as a mom are an athlete already you're squatting down you're picking up things you're turning you're twisting you're lifting you're all the things you're carrying balancing okay you are doing an amazing job and you are you need to support your body and treat it like the athlete that it is you have so much to do and and why put yourself through all the aches and pains and and tiredness like mom life is going to be mom life and it's going to be what's going to be so come alongside that with some good sleep some good nutrition some extra movement some time for you where you're moving and supporting those <clears throat> joints and and those muscles so that you can be strong for your kids and you don't get the injuries and you can run around with them and all the things <clears throat> Excuse me, I have a little bug in my throat. <clears throat> and yeah, so moving, hydrate, just drink water, get some electrolytes, put some fruit in your water. I mean, whatever, get a cute water bottle. Um, you know, just hydrate, make it, make it a point. Don't just drink coffee or diet soda all day. <clears throat> make it a point to hydrate, sleep, recovery from the gym muscles all of that that happens when you sleep when you rest when you recover it's not happening in the gym you're actually breaking down your muscles you're breaking and tearing them down where it happens where the magic happens is when you rest recover and nourish your body with the proper things okay so that is critical and for you to even just function as a human and not be edgy and moody and crabby and have hunger cravings. If you're having hunger cravings, like if you're struggling with weight, you're not getting sufficient sleep. That's a huge thing because your 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 ghrelin hormones, the cues of what you're hungry for, and then you get cravings. They're all thrown off because your sleep is not sufficient. Your circadian rhythm is off. Get outside. That's another thing I didn't write down. Get outside. Usually. I do my best. These winter months just are terrible. It's hard. <laughs> but I've done it. I've actually, <laughs> I've brushed my teeth. If it is above, we'll say 25 degrees, <laughs> I will go outside even if it's dark and I will walk around on my porch brushing my teeth in the morning to breathe in some fresh air. I usually, I'll probably pop shoes on at this time of the year. I don't walk in the snow. Some people have been grounding, doing their grounding walking in the snow. I, I don't know. I'm not quite there. <laughs> but either way, um, I, I just like to get a, some fresh air, but also just natural daylight. So when the daylight comes, I wake up a lot of times before the sunrise. Um, but just exposing you, exposing your kids to natural light for 10, 15 minutes to start the day. Uh, I'm not super, uh, what's the word? habitual in this like this you know routine um but I do my best or like I like when we're driving to the YMCA early in you know in the mornings I like don't put on sunglasses and I'm like okay sunshine just like flood my eyeballs because it's so bright and I'm just like soak it in because it sets your circadian rhythm it actually allows you to fall asleep better and sleep better when you are exposed to natural light to begin your day rather than 
being stuck inside, artificial light, all the things. So just um, just know that even if you got to pop outside for five minutes, just do what you got to do. Go brush your teeth, <laughs> walk around on the porch. Um, yeah, just, just make it your own. Have fun with it. Uh, and then, yeah, nourishing, obviously, it's just, it's just getting to the basics. Eat enough protein. We've talked about this in other podcasts. You can go find that. You know, uh, protein, um, fruits, veggies, just don't have them off, off limits. Like, eat them. Um, you know what serves your body. And if, you know, you're struggling with other extra specific things like details, you know, you, maybe you need some blood work done or some horm- work with a hormone balancing um you know, a nutrition expert, someone who can help uncover things that are just making you feel ucky and and not well um, because it's different for everyone. It's, it's not cookie cutter. Some fruits don't do well for people and some do better. Same with vegetables or like a grain or whatever. Like, like I said, like keto, all those things, like it works for some people because they have found that it has just massively helped with certain ailments or underlying issues that they've had that's awesome but it's not for everyone so don't think that it has to be for you um so just knowing like are your where are your carbohydrates coming from your sugars where you know where are they being sourced and how um how are they being made are you cooking at home are you buying packaged food how often are you eating out um and yeah what is your what are your portion sizes like so just always have the mentality of when you're when you're reaching for something am I hungry and how can I get protein into this meal or into this snack and even if it's a fruit or veggie that's fine just just eat it you could have a couple you know a few a small handful of nuts or something if you want with your fruit or vegetables but just saying like when you're making your plate of something like how can I add sufficient protein to this okay um and just keeping it real simple. You don't have to be complicated with it. Um, make room for the fun things. Don't say I can't have wine. I can never have ice cream. I can never have the pizza. Just make room for it. And just enjoy it. Because nobody needs the guilt weight. It it, it doesn't serve you. Um, so nourishing your body. And again, you can go find some episodes that we've talked about that. Um, and we can for sure explore more of of that in detail moving forward this year um finding joy gratitude having less stress like you have to assess your life and what is bringing you joy what's not not that everything has to bring you joy because life is life and it's going to be what it's going to be um not every not every day of motherhood is a joy ride (laughs) Um, but I have to find those pockets and I have to choose to fill my cup up in other ways and take the deep breaths or ask God to give me a glimpse of hope (laughs) sometimes in those moments. Um, and just being very mindful of the environment that you're putting yourself in constantly. And I understand that work sometimes I can't change my environment of the children I live with. (laughs) Um, but I can change my attitude and I can change my perspective. But if you are in control of some of the friends and the family or the people that you are surrounded with, maybe you could go sit at a different lunch table if you're kind of picking up on my drift. Something that's going to actually spur you towards the person you want to become. So I just want you to envision that and I want you to think about who is the best version of me. Who's the best version of Gabby? And how can I get there? And what are the little things I can do? And then doing something a little uncomfortable. I mean, I'm all about it. Um, You know, sometimes, you know, I still, I go out of my comfort zone, but still within my comfort zone. So like, I'll do something challenging within like exercise, but exercise isn't out of my comfort zone. I love it. It's my favorite thing. So to challenge myself in it, get a little uncomfortable, sometimes I feel like that's cheating. (laughs) But no, I mean, I've done, I've done things. Doing this podcast, this was getting out of my comfort zone. And I cannot believe that in a couple months here, it's coming up on a year just before this baby is going to be born. Um, it's crazy. So I, I just, I just hope that you can find something that can grow you and stretch you and fail. 
I hope that you fail sometimes in these next few months as you are trying new things because failing means that you're actually trying, that you're working towards something. Get back up again. Try it again. Try a different route. Choose a different avenue. Um, Pick a different resource, whatever it needs to be uh, that you would not find failure to be a bad thing because that actually means you're doing something that other people aren't and the only people that the successful people in life are the ones that have fallen down and have gotten back up again and I know that's like duh Gabby but it's like duh us like hello we need to remind ourselves of that like oh yeah like why do I not think that way for myself and the things that I want to pursue so I know for me for sure okay you know, I'm just going to be real and raw on here. This year, I've I've been uh, really wanting to, this year, I mean, it's only five days in or whatever. Um, I really want to get better at my mindset around money, finances, saving, spending, all of that stuff. I am a bit of a free spirit. My husband is an accountant. <laughs> um, we've made it work. And we are so blessed. But there is so much room for growth for me in this area. And I have dreams and goals for our family that are going to require me to figure out how to um, get a little more resourceful. Maybe I got to take a step back from buying a few things. Um, And yeah, I started listening to a couple podcasts. Um, Dave Ramsey has really awesome stuff out there. So All I know is, you know, when I talked about changing your environment, that's a way you can change your environment. So I'm trying to do my best to more and more put more of those things in my ears rather than like a nutrition podcast. Those are great. Or fitness or um, self-development. Like those are all great and I still will implement them, but I need to flood more and more into my brain, into my ears, money mindset, savings, hearing people's stories and getting it in me more and get me more excited and so I I really want to grow in that area I want to uh, expand my ability to to earn income as well um, with a couple you know side side income things here and and we'll get a chance to talk about those here on the podcast but I'm just just sharing where I'm at that I am I'm not the best in the savings Uh, financial realm I only am because I have a husband who really um, will have the conversations and is willing to have the conversations with me and um, you but we also don't live a very high end we don't buy the fancy things we buy used we like we don't buy new Um, we don't eat out much Um, you know I'm not buying designer clothes Uh, you know I'm he might (laughs) my husband might disagree when he's like you needed another pair of workout leggings um yes I did because I didn't have this cute color (laughs) um yeah so just yeah I want to put that out there so I hope that um this podcast encouraged you again I wasn't telling you don't do a program or whatever like whatever you need to do to jump start yourself but just keep in mind those things those questions that I had asked that you would ask yourself those you would have a plan in place for say when that program is done or um, whatever it is that you're pursuing um, that you can move forward continually pursuing that goal and not fall backwards because you waste that time then what what was it worth what was the time and the energy and the emotions and the money and all of it invested for to only then fall back all the way or halfway like it's so defeating and and I don't want that for you I want you to continue forward in the right direction it's okay to fall back a little bit it it's fine but when you're making a full like you know 180 and you're just like you're on the other end again that's not okay and you you need to ask yourself, why? Why am I back here? What did I not learn to keep me where I was? What did I not acquire in, in, the, in the steps, in the process? Okay? A lot of it is mindset. So keep that in mind. It's mindset. And you're not always going to feel like it. You're not always going to have someone to show up with you. You're not always going to want to. Um, there are going to be those obstacles. 
but it's what you do amidst those and how you show up through those that's going to make you more resilient and and be be being able to push past those the next time they come and you'll be able to overcome the next hurdle that's even bigger So with that being said, if you found value here, I would so love it if you would share this episode either on your Instagram, on your Facebook, send this link to a friend. It's super easy. You can just hit the like little three dots in the upper hand corner or that little box with the arrow. I don't, I don't know how to explain that, but you just hit copy link or share or screenshot it, whatever it is. And just say, Hey, I was so motivated by this or whatever it might be. Um, I I would love for you to share this so that someone else can start their new year off with a better um, mindset. And as always, leave a review, um, honest ratings and reviews. I so appreciate every single one of them. Um, I hope to acquire more of those this year, really roll this podcast out with more content and just more um, more juice for you guys, more um, and get it in front of more and more people. So I'm just so grateful for all of you tuning in. I look forward to hearing um, your feedback from this episode. I look forward to cheering you on, seeing you crushing those goals and um, just pursuing this year the way that you need to. Um, and respecting and honoring the season of life that you're in. So with that being said, I will chat with you guys on the next episode. (laughs) Bye-bye.